today we're drawing a toad pirate. <laughs> All right, today we are going to draw a pirate toad. This is going to be really cute. I have a feeling. <laughs> okay, let's get started by drawing toad's face. So I'm going to start around the middle of the page or maybe a little bit above the middle so that I have plenty of space. Feel free to turn your paper a different direction if you would like to have more horizontal space to create a scene in your drawing. That is totally fine. So if you would like to do that, I should say it is totally fine. <laughs> oh boy, I crack myself up. Okay. So we will start by drawing a deep bowl shape for a toad's face. Now, if you made the face a little crooked like me, don't you worry about that. I always find some way to fix my mistakes. So you wait and see how I'm going to fix that when I already have a plan. <laughs> All right, we've got a deep bowl shape. We are going to. Put a slightly curved line across the top, like we're putting a lid on the bowl, making sure that all of these lines come together. And we want to make sure that line overhangs a little bit on each side of the big bowl shape. Great. All right. Now, one thing that I'm going to keep in mind here is that we're making a pirate toad, not a regular toad. So he's going to need to have some kind of a hat, right? But he's got such a huge mushroom head. So here's what I think we should do. We will start to draw a mushroom head, but we'll just have it coming out and curving up and then we're going to pause, kind of right in the middle of the side of it. We'll do the same thing on this side over here. Cool. And the reason that we paused is that we're going to put a hat on here. We want to leave a little space for that hat to kind of hang around the outside. So instead of finishing the mushroom head, let's make a curved line. It's going to be just like this curved line, but it's going to go from here to there. Like that. Great. Okay, so now we can draw what we would see of toad's spots. So we would see a little bit of a spot coming down here, a little bit of a spot peeking out, and there as well. Awesome. I'm loving that. Now, I would like to make a skull and crossbones design on the hat. Maybe you want to do that too, or maybe you have a different idea to have on the hat. If you want to put a design on the hat, then let's do the design first. I love using this technique of making the design on the hat before the outline of the hat. This way, we're making sure that we're going to save enough space. We're going to have enough space for that design. If you draw the outline of the hat first, then you might actually be working with a very squished space for your design. So. We are going to make a skull and crossbones kind of design here. Let's start with this little, the teeth, this little sort of toothy looking, <laughs> that's so funny. And then we'll make kind of a mushroom shape for the skull. It's funny that looks kind of like a mushroom. We'll make some eye holes here and a nose one there like that that's about right and then we'll make the bones coming out of each corner we want to make them in sort of an x shape so make a bone coming out like this and like this and the bone is just going to be kind of like a little stick with two little bumps coming out it almost looks like a little heart on the end doesn't it Okay, I'm glad that I drew that design before drawing the cap because I feel like I would have run out of space for that big design. <laughs> now that we have the design, we can draw 
a rainbow shaped line going over the top of the design. And then we're going to slide this down and over to the side and then back down, making sort of a wave shape here on the end and curving that into the hat here. This way, sliding down and out, making that little wave and curving it back down and in. There, that is a cool hat. Now I do want to create another layer on the hat. So I'm going to just draw a little line going up on each side and I'm going to follow along parallel to the line on the top. I'm making this kind of trim because I'm going to color that in a different color. Ooh, that hat is cool. What else could you add to your hat? If you wanted to, you could add a feather. You could add a scarf. Hmm. Maybe I'll add a feather later. We'll see. <laughs> okay, now for the eyes. I would like my pirate toad to have an eye patch. So I'm just going to make one eye here, an oval with a circle highlight spot, and color that in. But then where the other eye goes, I'm going to make an eye patch. I think that'll look cool. So we're going to make pirate eye patch right over where the eye would be. And then this way and this way it would have the strings, right? Arr, matey. <laughs> Nice. Okay, now for the mouth. Ooh, what kind of mouth should we make? Let's make a regular happy toad mouth. We're going to draw a straight line going across underneath the eyes a little bit, and then a nice, warm, happy smile. Excellent. We'll make a rainbow shape inside the mouth for the tongue. And then two little cheek lines at the corners. Very cool. All right, remember how I said I had a plan for that little mistake that I made? It's not a mistake, it's actually an opportunity. Well, I was thinking that would be a great way for me to start a beard. I think my pirate toad should have a beard. So I'm going to add a little bit of a beard. Now, of course, if you don't want yours to have a beard, then leave this part out. If you do want yours to have a beard, then draw on a beard. You could even make your beard bigger, smaller, whatever you'd like. It's your artwork, remember, so you can make any changes or customizations that you want to. I love it so far. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, now next we are going to start to draw the pirate toad's body. What's cool is that a lot of pirates will wear a vest that is very similar to the one that toad wears. So we're going to go in that same direction. What we're going to do is draw a diagonal line coming out of the bottom corner of toad's face. So like this and like this. It makes it look like there's a big toad head on top of a very small mountain. It is Mount Toad, or in this case, Mount Pirate Toad. <laughs> very good. Now we're going to draw two lines coming straight down from his chin, looking like two long beard hairs. Connect across the bottoms. So now we've got two shapes that are sort of like triangles. Very good. And then normally Toad's outfit will have a little trim on it. And I think I'd like to do that in this picture as well. We'll keep the trim. It's going to be along the inside and bottom of the vest. So it will look like an L on one side and on the other side like a backwards L. Cool. <laughs> Now we're going to make a smiley face shaped line to make his round bottom. He's going to look like a weeble wobble, in fact. So we're going to come in a little bit from the outside edge of that vest. 
and we're going to make the smiley face shape. Hey, it's me and Toad here. We just want to remind you that if you like drawing with me, you can draw with me again and again. Just check out my tutorial playlist and make sure you subscribe. Let's get back to drawing. A smiley face bottom looking like a weeble wobble, like he could rock back and forth. Now we're going to also make these pants pulled all the way up here. <laughs> For the feet, I would like to make one normal foot and one peg leg. What do you think of that? So we'll make a normal oval foot and then we'll make a peg leg, which is just going to be a little wooden stick. <laughs> How cute is that? That's funny, we'll put a little wood grain on there. Ta -da. Oh, I love it. Hey, we still need some arms. So let's see. I would like my toad to have one arm going out to the side this direction. We'll draw two lines out on a diagonal going out this way. And, ooh, should we give him a hook? Ooh, I'm tempted to give him a hook hand. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to give him a puffy sleeve on the end of this arm here so that I can give him a hook. <laughs> so we're going to give him a puffy sleeve. It doesn't have to have four ruffles, but mine has four ruffles. It can have as many ruffles that fits in your picture. Maybe you'll have three or four or five ruffles. Just draw a few ruffles. It almost looks like a little flower to the side. And then we'll draw the hand coming out from there and we'll make it a hook. It looks like Captain Hook. <laughs> that is cool. And the other arm, I'm going to have that one coming down to the side and holding a sword. Okay, so this one's going to come down to the side and out a bit. Great, it's going to have to have a ruffle as well. So let's add a ruffle. Very good. <laughs> now on this side, because we're going to have him holding, we're going to see his hand looking like this, like a fist holding onto something. So we are going to draw his thumb coming out of the top of the wrist area, lower than the top ruffle, and bending down like that. All right, kind of like a little, little curly cue <laughs> going down and up, great. And then we are going to draw a finger that's tucked under that thumb. It looks like a little oval tucked under the thumb. And then we'll draw another finger and another finger and another one. All four of those fingers are pulled in and all in a row. And then we'll draw the rest of the hand going back to the sleeve. So we've got this fist. That fist is going to be holding a sword, right? So I'm going to make the handle of the sword that you can see a little bit right at the edge of the fingers coming out from under the thumb and making a little bit of a round base at the bottom of the sword. And then coming out of the top, we'll see a slightly curved blade. Like that. You can make a different style of sword as well if you want to, whatever kind of sword that you like. That's totally fine. All right, now what else could we draw here? We can draw the ground beneath his feet. You could draw him on a ship. You could draw him in so many different scenarios. I would really love to see how you would finish this little toad pirate. Thanks for drawing Pirate Toad with me today. I hope you had a lot of fun and I'm so excited to draw with you some more. So be sure to check out my playlist with more drawing tutorials and subscribe so you can catch me in the next one. 
Bye. Thanks for drawing with me.